Okay, tweaking. Now, let's just hear it again. <laughs> It sounds pretty good. This is being stretched and this is being compressed. So I just want to go in and look at this transient marker where the two join. Let's just have a look at that. I'm just using a key command to zoom in there. Let's just turn this off. Because where does that. There's this flurry. Before I do. Sort of. A flurry. A slurring of the guitar notes before the actual. So let's see whether this needs to be brought this way a bit perhaps. Let's play it from the very beginning of that flurry. You see, it could actually be there is more like the beginning. Let's try that. All right, let's try there. Yeah, I'd say it's more there. So I'm gonna put this into samples and then holding down, I'll move that transient marker across to like, there or there, then snap it. All right, let's hear that. Now that's had the effect of making this the original tempo it was played at because it's neither green or orange. This is still stretched, but because I moved this marker down and then brought it back up that way, it's less stretched. Let's just hear. Um, well, let's hear the first four bars. Here we go. This sounds a little slow, doesn't it, this one? That's my imagination. As I say, there's a certain amount of musical interpretation here. Uh, let's just have a look at this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's hear that. Zoom in even further. Yeah, I'm actually going to move that. Samples. Alt, drag that, I'm going to bring that back further to there and then snap that back. I'll move it back actually, I'll, I'll snap it exactly to bar 7, right, okay. Well, I've had very little difference, I mean it's very subtle, but let's hear that. Hmm. Well, it sounds alright, it sounds pretty good. I'm entirely convinced that really was helpful, what I did there. By moving this marker further from where it was there to there and then bringing it back this way, we've in fact stretched this bar more, haven't we? But we've slightly compressed this bar. Let's go down and look at the end of that bar. Hmm, that's a bit... Hmm. All right, let's listen if we've got the beginning of bar eight right. Pause, play. <laughs> See again, that could be moved because it's in the middle of that flurry, isn't it? And maybe that's more the attack there of that strike. So let me hold down Alt with it in samples. Just move this transient marker along a bit. Let's say to there, then bring that back to bar eight. Let's hear that. Yeah, a bit clipped, maybe. So uh, Alt. Let's try it. There. Let's hear that. Hmm. If it's more on the big attack transient there. Well, actually, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to move that up to there. And then bring that back to bar 6. I'll snap it, in fact, with beat as the snap. Right, that's had the effect of, uh, well, we moved that transit marker further in this OA, so it will have shortened this bar, actually, and made that bar slightly um, longer. Let's see if that sounds like rubbish. Here we go. <laughs> well, 
that's that's sounding all right. So let's put it into eight four eight. Switch on the metronome. Let's hear it now. Going along to that tick tock tick tock. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, not bad at all. So that'll do. Put that back to 4 4, turn off the metronome. Okay, so we've got our bar markers lined up and it's actually sounding really okay. I mean, to be honest, if you played that eighth click duh, 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 to a guitarist and said play that riff along to that count, to be honest, I doubt they'd come up with anything tighter than that. That's actually sounding all right. I mean, that's usable now. <laughs> And it's usable at a rounded full tempo of 89 rather than 88 point something or whatever, yeah? And it's working across eight bars. So the next thing we need to do is bring in a drum beat. Um, and then fine tweak, if necessary, any interim transient markers within each bar to suit the beat, to make the feel better, you know? Cause it's all listen and tweak and to taste, really. So that is the final stage, getting a drum beat to go with it and then tweaking any interim transient markers within each bar if necessary. So let's move on to that final stage. <laughs> 